Hey guys, I want to do a quick demo on the DC motor bit from Little Bits. This is my DC motor here. I have a little coupling here so you can see the movement. Uh, this is a dimmer switch that which will control the amount of power that goes through to the motor and then power block. Okay, I'm going to give you a quick demo. Um, there's basically two modes on the DC motor uh, bit that you need to be aware of. And basically it says left or right. And that controls which direction the motor goes. So DC motor is pretty simple. Basically you give it power and it starts moving. Depending on the setting, it's either going to go clockwise or counterclockwise, or left or right. So let me demonstrate that, okay? So I'm going to turn it on, okay? And make sure we got some power going through. There we go. And you'll see the motor is moving, right? You're tracking that direction. Now I'm going to switch the direction by pushing this, okay? And now it's going the other direction. So pretty, pretty simple. Um, the only other thing to demonstrate, you'll notice that it wasn't moving when I first turned it on, is because I was, uh, there weren't, wasn't any power going through. So if I increase the power, it goes faster. If I decrease the power, it goes slower. And if I turn the power all the way off, it stops moving. Okay? And so that's basically it on the DC motor. Um, so you'll notice that the DC motor is either going to go to the left or to the right or stop. And then you can also modify the speed of it, okay? So the DC motor is not really used for uh, position, right? If you want to go to a precise position every single time, a DC motor is not the way to go. But if you need continuous movement in either direction and you want to be able to control the speed of that movement, that continuous movement, then the DC motor is uh, the choice to go with. All right, that's all for now.